Let's see another option we have for limiting in Ableton Live using Max for Live. So I'm using the Creative Extension Pack. Right here we can find the color limiter and I'm gonna drop it on the master track. Let me turn it off. Uh, so we can see I'm kind of clipping right now. Just a tiny bit. So first of all, let's put the limiter on. Nice, now the color limiter is um, emulating somewhat of a hardware compressor that is very uh, um, colorful. Uh, you can even add saturation here. So first of all, we have the ceiling, which is the threshold. Uh, so as much as I turn it down, more compression will happen. Let's bring it up. The loudness is how much we're inputting into the limiter. We have the release of the compression of the limiting. Extra stage of saturation here, uh, which will just add a lot of color and distortion, especially if we boost some loudness. And the color will decide what the saturation is focused on. Lower amount will create darker, more uh, filtered sounds. And higher amount will focus more on the high frequencies. And here we have the look ahead. And the look ahead will give the limiter more time to see what's coming, what kind of signals are coming, so we can prepare all the amplitude adjustments and whatever it needs to do. So you can bring it up to six. If I move my mouse over it, we do see introduce some latency here. <clears throat> so um, it does uh, act kind of as a mastering limiter that adds latency because of the look ahead. You can of course turn it off completely. So that's the color limiter. Another option for limiting in Ableton. Check it out, very tasteful uh, to maybe add it on groups, uh, but uh, check it out also on the master. Let me know what you think. Okay, color limiter.